All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Solar Systems, where we help you understand the system your soul goes into. And today we're gonna to be having a quick but quite important astrological update. This week's alignments are gonna get a little crazy. And the catch-all phrase you're gonna be seeing that's gonna kind of resonate with you as we move throughout the week is burn it all down. So let's move on over and see what the freaking stars are hitting for. So as you can see, we got the little water bearer above me. And the first thing we're gonna to have to be talking about is the sun. Now, as you can see, the sun is in the late degrees Capricorn, right? So what that means is it's about to move into Aquarius. So when it does move into Aquarius on Tuesday, Eastern Standard Time, probably around midday, or uh, it's going to be quite interesting because it's going to set up a whole chain of events where we just had four planets in Aquarius. Now we're going to have four again because the moon just moved out a couple days ago and the sun's moving in a couple days after. So for all you air sounds out there, you better be using this trying to help get your knowledge out there because we know you got it. Now it's time for you to explain it in a fixated, well-mannered, fully fledged out way. So use this trine and don't have it use you because basically the sun's going to be moving through all of these planets in a sequence, shedding light on the two past conjunctions of Saturn and Jupiter, basically your new quote unquote superpower of knowledge. And then it's going to be moving into Mercury. So after you solidify what you're seeing, you expand on what you're seeing, you're going to be making sense out of what you're seeing and tweaking that so you can have it be a little better and not be sitting around jittery sounding like you're not really saying what you need to say and it's not coming across the right way. Do you get what I'm saying here? So this is basically everything you manifested from the Saturn Jupiter conjunction three months ago. You reflected on it with the moon quite recently now you're gonna have the sun shine the light on it so you're gonna be seeing it and not only are you gonna be seeing what you created everybody else will be seeing it too so let's move on over and see what the moon's got so right now when i'm filming this the moon is in late degrees pisces and around 2 a.m tonight which is basically on 2 a.m monday the moon will be moving into uh aries and then that also means it will be conjuncting chiron See that is going to be conjuncting Chiron right around, say, eight, seven degrees Aries. This is where it's going to be. It's going to be quite interesting because this is where the burn it all down phrase kind of sheds its light and you'll be seeing it because on Monday, moon day, when the moon is in Aries, you'll basically be aggressively reflecting on past mistakes. And this is interesting because this is going to be one of the many motivating factors that will be pushing you to experience this new knowledge base where the sun will be angling Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury throughout the next month at some point. So this is going to get quite interesting because we're all going to be going through the same experience on Monday where our mistakes will basically be unavoidable. So keep that, be aware of that, shield yourself, make sure you use it for the right reasons. And let's move on over to the next main alignment that will be on the 20th and 21st. So now we've made it over a whole 30 degrees. Let's check out what Taurus got going on because this is the real 21st alignment you're going to want to be paying attention to and check back later in the week because we're going to have a whole video breaking down what this alignment means and how it will affect you. So to understand the area of life that all of these previous things I just mentioned will be affecting you in and what area of life it'll be hitting you in, you have to know what house you have Aquarius and Aries in because this will show you where the moon is moving through within your own solar system. You see what I'm saying? So once you know the area of the body, aka the area of life you will be experiencing these alignments in, you'll know where you can look and where you can heal in case that something happens and you need it and it manifested directly in your body so you can pay direct attention to not only the area of life, but the space in your body that may be being attacked at that moment in time. So without all that, let's talk about this conjunction that we'll be experiencing on the 20th and then it will be being amplified on the 21st. So. This is Mars conjunct Jupiter in Taurus. These are two planets that Taurus really fucking hates because what, motivation and change? Well, think about it, the running of the bulls. Do you think the bulls like running in the running of the bulls? No, probably not. They wanna just be chilling. They don't wanna just see red. They don't wanna to have to be like, ah, swords, we're getting stabbed, all that matador stuff, no. And they don't wanna go over cattle guards either because that changes up the ground they're walking on. So with motivation and change, being the whole energy of the 20th aka inauguration day and all that other stuff that we have going on i think that'll be a quite tenuous day and scary day let alone out of all the external world things that we have going on we're gonna have a lot of internal things going on so be careful of that day and protect yourself and don't have anything about 
stability or what grounds you on your mind whatsoever. Because if you feel like that thing that you feel grounded in is up in the air a little bit, that's basically opening yourself up to attack for these two planets to change that up for you. So make sure you got your freaking not, not I want to say your esoteric heads in the sand, but make sure you got your your winter coat, a strong flak jacket, something for you to weather this harsh ass storm because this ain't going to be no dust storm like Virgo. This is going to be a heavy landslide. And the next day, when we have the moon conjuncting all of this after it moves through Aries all the way through, we're going to have a sort of comfortable feeling, a nice a sense of okayness with whatever plan or structure system that got ripped away from us and a new one gets handed to us right in our face. So be careful of that because things will seem a lot brighter than they actually are right after a period of chaos happens. Because if you're poor and you need money and someone hands you a sack of gold and just says sign here, you might sign that thing if you're in a very stressful situation. But if you don't take the time to read whatever esoteric contract or physical contract you're signing, be careful for what may come because you may have the wool pulled over your eyes literally by all this change having being with Taurus on a bad day at work and then the moon sliding in having a nice calm home life where it can just come home let go of all the things that it was working on that day and just sit back have a beer and watch some tv be careful of what you're being offered because it may not be what you want anyways that's our quick astrological alignment for the day thanks for following this little solar systems astrological update check back later in the week for a more of an in-depth breakdown on the Uranus, Mars, and Moon conjunction, and we'll see you back next time. Mm -hmm.